Richmond County is a pretty large geographical area, one of the bigger rural municipalities in the province. It encompasses about 93, 9,500 people and uh, with an aging population. We have Mi'kmaq, uh, Acadian population, Irish, it's very diverse. In 2004, we commissioned a study to the municipality of the county of Richmond uh, to find out what the issues were in my district. The result was that 80% of the homeowners had either malfunctioning or inadequate sewer systems. It was creating problems in the water table. People were having difficulty, a lot of straight pipes running into the drains. Some people running just off into the shorelines. So we really had a big problem. About 30% of our municipality is serviced uh, with water and sewer. The challenge we have is that unlike uh, an urban area such as Halifax where you can create a subdivision with 1,500, 2,000 units, here we're trying to spread the cost of a big pipe in the ground over 200 households over a large geographical area. So the cost per unit just became unreasonable. We started discussing perhaps an old idea which was on-site septic, which was uh, more affordable. However, the municipality would retain ownership and maintenance. On-site services, including groundwater wells and on-site septic systems, can be more sustainable for water and wastewater management, especially for rural areas in Nova Scotia. They are cheaper to construct and are typically constructed using local materials. Their cost to operate and maintain is much less compared to a central collection and treatment system. The overall function of them is more sustainable compared to a central sewer. Once people found out what was going to happen, they were really pleased with the outcome. For some people, it was a no-brainer. We've actually had to uh, develop a, a waiting list. People wanted to uh, participate in the program. The way the program is set up right now, they're treating it as if it were a municipal project. The homeowners would be expected to pay one-third of the cost. In this case, it works out to be $5,400 per lot. Had the homeowner had to do it on their own, you'd be looking at anywhere from fifteen dollars to $20,000. Once the engineering is done and the approvals are in place, the local contractor will show up on site and the two to three days the work is done and completed. If we're successful and other municipalities want to know how we did it, we'd be more than happy to share our information. Just trying to get the first one into the ground today is almost three years from the day we started the project. I think what we're doing now is not only good for now and in the next few years, but for future generations as well. I'm very pleased that the uh, program is, is being carried out by the municipality and I think it shows that they're a, a forward-looking organization. I think we're helping the environment, uh, we're making it more affordable and what we're really doing is using the technology that works for our area and that to me is on-site septic.